What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's been a little over a year now since I made a YouTube video around pizza and uh, not to toot my own horn but when you make pizza more and more and more in the last year I've gotten a little bit better at it. So I wanted to go ahead and provide an update because the last video I posted I got roasted. I didn't know what I was doing fully trying to teach people and you know I think I kind of got it down pat now. So what you want to do first make sure your countertop surface is super clean. Uh, set that pizza dough out. I let mine out for an hour. I roll it, I throw semolina flour on the countertop, and I let it sit for an hour before I get to cooking. Obviously, as you can see, this is gonna get a little messy, so I did it outside on the outdoor kitchen, but uh, I mean, if you're prepared to go ahead and make a mess, then it's all on you in the house. Publix does a really nice job. You can make your own dough, I've done it before. Uh, this is just super easy for after work. But basically they roll out the dough for you uh, it's ready to go all I end up doing after this point is I roll it out a little bit thinner because it comes just a little too thick for my liking so I go ahead and roll it thin uh, the semolina flour prevents it from sticking but go ahead and spin your pizza every 20 to 30 minutes to make sure that it's not sticking to the countertop and I mean after an hour or so your pizza is ready to go ahead and toss in the egg the way I cook pizza, I want to make sure my egg is sitting around 450 or 500 degrees. So go ahead and light your charcoal, put your plate setter in, and then I actually use some broken lawn pavers. Um, you can use any kind of brick or whatever, but it helps lift the pizza stone up off of the uh, plate setter and allows the heat to get under it and cook it fully. While your egg is coming to temperature or your grill or your oven or whatever, Go ahead and pop that stone in because you need the stone to be the same temperature as the egg at 450 degrees. So this is one step that I've kind of learned in the last year. I actually pre-bake my crust for about a minute in the egg prior to topping and saucing and whatnot. I feel like it helps pre-cook the crust and gets it a little bit so the bottom will be crispy. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of rising a little bit and I'll take my fingers and kind of beat down on the inside of the pizza and it allows air pockets to stop forming so that way the pizza stays flat. You can top your pizza however you want, but the way I do it, I like to put a little mozzarella base, throw on the pepperonis, onions, peppers, mushrooms, you name it, whatever you want. But before I go ahead and pop the pizza in, I put a little bit of super fine Parmesan 3 cheese from Publix. Not every day you get to see some titties go by on the on the paddleboard. And yes, that's creepy. I'm creeping. But she's topless. Yes, sir. Well, folks, that's St. Petersburg for you. I mean, not every day are you trying to make pizza in a YouTube video in the backyard and hippies float by topless. I mean, it's... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say about that. I think it's quite funny. Hey, you can do whatever you want, and I can film whatever I want as long as it's out in the public domain. So, enjoy.